At the Food People, we aim to keep our finger on the pulse of how food trends are manifesting themselves in different categories across food. Chocolate is often one of those categories first to embrace the changes and evolutions in food trends. However, recently we spotted something quite different happening in Marlow in the United Kingdom. Earlier this year we met chocolatier Damien Olsup who challenged all of our points of reference in chocolate. Before becoming a chocolatier, Damien spent almost 20 years working for, the, for culinary masters such as John Rocker, Giorgio Locatelli and Gordon Ramsay and it was during this time that Damien realised some of the ingredients that we add to base chocolate actually mask the flavour of the chocolate itself and the ingredients that are added to it. Damien describes this as a fairly simple revelation that led him to start his work on substituting the likes of cream and butter with the most obvious non-flavoured liquid of all, water, to allow the flavour of the chocolate and the ingredients that, that are added to it to come through. Damien's unique water-based ganaches are a gastronomic revelation that has removed the lactic or dairy flavour associated with chocolate to create a purer, more intense flavour with a lighter, fresher sensation. We at The Food People were lucky enough to be invited to meet Damien at his Marlow studio to find out more. And here's a little of what Damien had to say. So basically I worked out, the main thing was I worked out cream changes the flavour. Cream is a strong flavour, egg yolks is a strong flavour. So if we're looking at how to make things which classically have cream and egg yolks yeah. in, um, then I, I want to substitute those with non-flavoured ingredients. You know, so at least the non-flavoured liquid is water. So that's where I started working with water. Um, and then, so there's a logicality ah, to it. So, um, so basically, so the first thing we had to do was to make a mousse without cream or egg yolks. So I had to understand what the functions are. Mm -hmm. I had to sort of understand and try and find out other ingredients, natural ingredients that have no flavour that will do that function. Um, so we're looking at ice cream technology, seaweeds, things like mm -hmm. that, water, water binding agents, of which there's quite a few, mm -hmm. you know, from the seaweeds to the sap from the tree to the pectins to the gelatine to bacterial fermentations like gelan and, and xanthan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, so that was obviously a new a new world to look into and experiment and play with. Um, so I started started doing that and I went through from the mousse, the gels, the ice creams and you know got monofat ice creams, you know, so so the flavour um, so you choose the type of fat you want to put in the ice cream. So I sort of started on the, you know, working out the technology of ice cream first. So now we can make an ice cream. We can choose the amount of sugar you have. So we can choose how sweet it is. Yeah. We can choose how much fat you want in there, depending on the time of the year, depending on what you're doing it on the plate with. To balance that, you can choose the type of fat. So the flavor. So the flavor should come from, if you're doing a hazelnut, there's fat in the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. The fat percentage in the ice cream comes from the hazelnut itself. Yeah, so it's a monofat ice cream, mm -hmm. cocoa, chocolate, the fat comes from the cocoa butter, mm -hmm. not from the cream. Yeah, so it's breaking things down like that and mm -hmm. seeing them a lot clearer. And then from there, then started working on the ganaches and, uh, and the different chocolates, which not only to achieve that, but then to also to achieve shelf life. And, look and, at and all of this with an, with an aim to um, the, the, the flavour of the chocolate itself being as... Yeah. Uh, as natural as possible or yeah 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 we want to get through the first thing was to get through to the chocolate okay yeah. and once we've done that once we achieve that we realize we're getting through to everything else as well mm -hmm. you know so it's very respectful and supportive to other flavors yeah i mean as we spend a lot of time harmonizing you know and then you can write and you can put any flavors you want to together anybody can write put down flavors yeah. and write it down <coughs> it's about making it work and making sure the right balance and well, for us it's about the journey you know so when you you know when you eat something just like chocolate itself mm -hmm. the, you know the core product it's a journey like any quality you know a glass of wine it's a journey you look at it you smell it you know you taste it, it starts it has a middle it has an end yeah. you know it takes you on a journey and that's you know like now you can mm -hmm. you know now you have a different flavor mm -hmm. when you started with yeah. you know, and we try and get that in most of our products that kind of 
When we were next door, you were talking about <coughs> retaining um, the resonance with your core values. Mm. What, what would you what describe that as being? <laughs> It's, um, well, well it's, it's flavour. It's about how, how we deliver flavour and the journey, that each, the, the, the personality in each chocolate. And I think that's very much a character of ours. The look is very much a character of ours. The fact that it's not perfectly finished yeah. mm -hmm. and it has this handmade look without being too yeah. rough. Mm -hmm. So that, that kind of balance. Um, obviously the quality of ingredients and and those those things there kind of restrict a lot of things you know just looking at quality and looking at that mm -hmm. in, in order to make that happen because of what price and scarcity yeah also my involvement with it you know because yes. a lot of things you know you can't just pass that on and get people to make yeah. it for you yeah which is what happens and you know you lose that you know it's about it's about what i think me and anna what we think yes is right you know so it's, mm -hmm. if you taste it off the same palate you're looking for those same sparks and to you know we, we were kind of you know we know what we're looking for yeah. in that sense to find out more about the exciting world of Damien Allsop chocolates, visit www.damienallsop.com. At Damien's site, you'll be able to find more about Damien's philosophy and, more importantly, his chocolates and how to order them. To find out more about the food people or to understand how food trends could fuel the next wave of innovation in your business through our global food trend spotting and reporting service food watching visit www.thefoodpeople.co.uk or ping an email to helpme at thefoodpeople.co.uk